For more, 12 launches in less than a month, and with that comes the unreleased beta version, with all new additions like draw masking, AI cutout, adjustment layers, full keyframing, and all new workspace layouts. You don't want to miss. Let's go. I don't even smoke weed, but I feel how when I'm next to If you're new here or a returning subscriber, it's been a while. My name is Esno, and I am a former Fomora partner that dedicated my channel to creating Fomora content and tutorials for you guys. I was fortunate enough to introduce the 2021 uh, Fomora FCC program and was the most popular FCC of 2021, which was awesome. Looking forward to getting back into it. All right, as you see, the Fomora hub has changed a lot, but let's get into a project. We're gonna start with the Fomora layouts. So starting in the top right corner, if you go to this icon, it is the layout mode. If you wanna click it, there are six new layouts you can choose from, starting with the default, which wasn't the original default. If you wanna to go to Fomora 11, that is the classic mode, which was basically Fomora 11 and backwards. Fomora X, Fomora 9 were very similar. Dual, which you have two monitors. You can bring this over for your second monitor right here. Um, that's so you can preview your videos on a second monitor. If you mainly edit YouTube shorts or TikToks, the short video would be the best. You have the organized layouts and the timeline layout. For me, I'm gonna go between the default and timeline. For default, you get more of a longer uh, view for the um, the effects and changes you can do to your video as well. And then timeline just shortens it up a little bit so you have a longer layout. I'm gonna stick with um, timeline for this video, but probably I'm gonna stick with default um, just when I edit personally. To start with, we're gonna start with draw masking as it's probably one of the biggest features they've added. So let's check it out. So start, add your clip into your timeline and go up to mask in the top right. As in Fomora 11, you have all the other presets for uh, masking, but we're gonna focus on draw masking. I already have a custom one here because I played around with earlier, but what we wanna do is click draw mask and then you start wherever you want on your timeline. So I'm gonna trim this clip right here. So right here, I'm gonna focus when I aim in on the gun here. So once I aim in, I'm going to draw mask the gun. So once you click draw mask, you have a few other settings here. Find where you want to start masking and mask away. I'm gonna outline the guy's hands as well. If you want more of a curvature, click where you want, hold alt, and then you can customize the curve. If you use Adobe Illustrator, it's similar to that. That's the only one I can really think of. Um, get the gun pretty good. I might curve some of these. This is just a rough, rough cut, um, cutout. I'm not gonna be perfect here. Then I'm gonna go back to the original point and it'll completely cut it out. So like right here, trim and then just reset it for, yeah, so here, and then it's just gonna pop it up. And then I'm, I was gonna get into keyframing after, but let's say points right now, it's pretty good there. So I'm just gonna add a keyframe here where it's good. And then you wanna move forward to where it's not good, like not point on it, click on it, and then adjust your draw mask or your mask as, as so. I'm just gonna do it briefly right now. That's good. And you can also delete and add masking keyframes like on here. So like if I didn't want this one, just click on it and delete and it would add it. Um, so as you see here, it added a keyframe below where I went to. So it goes here and then it changes. As you see, it moves. So with the new keyframing, yes, keyframing has been in Fomora since Fomora X, but they added uh, where you can basically keyframe any effect. I found one effect, which I'm kind of annoyed by. What's well, called mosaic. So I'm gonna add a mosaic onto this clip and as you see, I can't keyframe it. I can, however, keyframe the opacity of it. So if I want the opacity to go down by the end, um, I can, so there it goes away, but I cannot keyframe its position, which is annoying on my end, but um, that's all right. So I'm gonna get an effect here that I can keyframe. Let's do a shape mask here. So yeah, I'm gonna move it both forwards. Yeah, so I'm gonna get out a mask over here, perfect. Get the shape mask here, so if I want, the width to change or the X, I'm gonna keyframe width there. I'm gonna go ahead and make that 50. Um, so there you go. So over time, James! it does go down very easy to keyframe. I don't have to go into anything. It's just all right here. And it's just easier to keyframe now, which is awesome. Next, they added adjustment layers, big thing in Premiere. Um, I'm gonna check it out here. So it's in media, and then you can add a custom or preset. Sorry, you can make custom ones, but you can take the preset adjustment layer here. I'm gonna make it before. Yeah, once again, before. So an adjustment layer is basically a layer on top of your clips that you can make changes to, to impact the, like, the clip below. You can use it in replacement of color correction if you really wanted to, or just do like some an animation presets or something like that. So I'm gonna go um, up here where, I, I, I guess I'll change the color. Let's go down, let's get some cool color correction. Let's make it TV. Um, let's change the curves of it as well. Something decently nice, exposure. You can do more than color as well. That's what I'm just showing by an example for. Yeah, you can take from, I guess, 
yeah, there's tons here. I'm gonna leave it at that. And then you can also change the blending mode, which is big for like, like as you see, it lightens it. If you had major effects on the, your adjustment layer, it would blend better. So I'm not gonna mess with it as I just changed the color correction. So as you see, no adjustment layer, adjustment layer. You can definitely see the, the changes here. I can make them way crazier as well. I can up that temperature where it's beet orange and looks horrendous but um and then yeah you can move this around you can copy and paste this i can paste this as many times as i want let's not do it too many times but yeah it's just massive where you can make your effects this feature was asked for a lot over the last few years so i'm glad for more out of it and lastly we're going to check out ai cutout which is another big feature they added so i'm going to get rid of this adjustment layer and shape mask for now i don't need it all right, so when you click on your clip right here, there were more changes. If you go to AI tools, there are a few AI tools. They classified chroma key as an AI tool. Um, AI portrait was also in motion tracking, and those are the main ones. They added also stabilization, which stabilizes your video. I don't know if they added it in V11 in one of the V11 side updates, but it's here. I don't know if they added it in this update, but um, yeah. There you go, smart cutout, there it is. I'm gonna enable that there and click on it. I'm gonna use it on COD, but Fortnite's probably better. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do Fortnite. There you go. So double click on the clip, go to Smart Cutout, and there we go. It's very similar to um, a website called Runaway, which I used for a video back in, ooh, it was a long time ago, but it's built into Formora now, um, so you don't have to do that. You click where you want to cut out, um, and it uses AI-generated technology to basically find the character or whatever you're trying to cut out. So I'm gonna click all over. The brush size isn't that big. I might make it bigger. I'm gonna do this briefly. If you wanna make it better, I think I'd suggest doing it better than me. For the purpose of the video, I'm just kind of trying to collect and select as much as I can. There you go. You can change things like the brush slide. If you go to advanced mode, you can go frame by frame if you need to make much needed changes. But for the simple version, I'm just gonna click render. As you see, it misses it. If you were to use advanced mode or take an extra second, you do it better. But just for me clicking for a few seconds, the AI generated it pretty well. Um, and you can also change the edge thickness. I'm also gonna change the feather because it makes it a lot smoother. Um, and then actually I lower down the thickness actually, but maybe add a two feather. Um, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna make the feather four. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it makes it a lot smoother. It looks pretty nice for just a few seconds. It looks really nice. And yeah, that's the brand new Fomora 12 beta version. Fomora 12 comes out very soon, so I'm very excited for that. I'm gonna try to make some videos on it, so you guys wanna leave in the comments what features you want me to make in-depth videos on. I'm very happy to do that. Especially draw masking um, within the video editing montage scene. Draw masking can come huge for games like Fortnite. Even CSGO with some cutouts of the snipes. I feel like that would be very nice to make some uh, cool overlays. Hoping to come back to the normal videos, guys. Follow me on Twitter to find out new updates regarding uh, videos and stuff like that because I'm not sure when I want to upload and like how, like what content to do and stuff like that. So yeah. Hope you guys did find this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment if you haven't. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.